Hello there, Nation members and everybody else who's watching this video. Um, doing a tasting of one of the newest whiskeys from Seal and Cast Nation, release number five. This is our Kleinleash 23 year old. See, it's 52.4% alcohol. And there we go. Uh, 23 years in the second fill Oloroso Sherry Butt, cask 8660. We got 580 bottles from this cask, 54, sorry, 52.4 percent alcohol, and many of you may have seen this. We've added to our label sometime last year, maybe the year before. That's our flavometer, which gives you an idea of where all of the flavors lie. In release number five, we actually did four different whiskeys to highlight two different distilleries. So we did two from Klein Leash. One is a 23-year-old Sherry Butt, that's this guy. And then another is a nine-year-old uh, from a First Fill Bourbon Barrel, and that's going to be my next video. The other uh, two casks that we did to highlight a single distillery, uh, that was Le Chig, which is basically peated whiskey from the Tobermory Distillery. Jeez, I'm having a tough time Getting into that. There we go. Um, and so Lechig peated Tobermory, and we did a 13 year old from a Sherry Butt and a 15 year old from a Second Fill Bourbon Hogshead. But back to the whiskey at hand. So as I'm trying to open this, uh, let me give you a little history on retail release number five. As you guys may know, um, you know, we started Single Cast Nation back in 2011, and everything that we did was sold online. And you had to purchase a membership, become a member, then you gain access to the bottles. In 2017, uh, we launched the retail side of things. So you can still be a Single Cast Nation member. Actually, membership is now free. And, and we bottle around 10 casks per year for the membership. Those are whiskeys sold online only. Of course, legally we have to have a retailer fulfill that order, so a, a retailer will ship it to you. But anything that you see with this label, this sort of light color label with the various colored casks, that is our retail range. Now release number five is the biggest one we've done to date. Um, we've done, most of our releases have been uh, anywhere between say, five casks, six casks. We may have done a four cask release. I can't quite remember. Uh, but this is our largest. There's eight in release number five. So there's the four that I told you about. Uh, in addition to that, there's a 26-year-old Cameron Bridge, a single grain scotch whiskey from a sherry butt, a 20-year-old from Glen Berge, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. That's from a bourbon hogshead. There's a 42-year-old from the Port Dundas Distillery. That's also single grain. That's from a first fill bourbon barrel. We only got 95 bottles from that barrel. I don't even have a sample of that one, which is kind of upsetting. It sold out way too quick before I can get any. And then finally, and this is the one, I, I'm proud of all of our bottlings, uh, but the one that I'm, I'm most proud of is our Imperial, and I will be doing a video on that. And I'm most proud of our Imperial because that is a shuttered distillery. And it's also, spring bank aside, my favorite distillery. So it's been a mission of ours since we launched in 2011 to get a cask of Imperial and we finally did that. But again, back to the whiskey at hand. This is our 23-year-old Klein Leash. Pretty decent color there, I'd have to say. Uh, again, second fill, Oloroso butt. Now this is, for me, a very classic style of Scotch whiskey. This is when when people think of Scotch whiskey, especially uh, old school Scotch whiskey. You know, it's these old dark sherry casks that smell of, you know, studies and old libraries or used bookstores and leather chairs and, and things like that. And I'm getting that in here. It's like pipe tobacco and, and wood paneling. 
lots of dark fruits. There's also pickled walnuts, if you've ever had that. They don't taste like pickles. It's a very dark, sort of um, luscious, deep, sweet kind of a thing. It's not, not actually pickled. And a lot of just dark chocolate all over this. Wow, there actually is a bit of uh, light pickling spice in here. I'm getting a touch of dill, a touch of coriander seed, like crushed coriander seed. God, this is beautiful. For 52.4%, it's not really stinging the nose, uh, which is a good thing. Now, this is Klein Leash, and one of the things that we look for with Klein Leash is that sort of waxy mouthfeel, which is, which is a hallmark. Is that, is that the right word? Maybe a trademark. Uh, but it's something that is specific to their, to their whiskeys. So let's see if I get a bit of that waxiness on the palate. It's almost chewy. It's so oily. It's almost chewy. It's waxy, really rich, really coats the tongue. The alcohol's there for sure, but this is my first whiskey of the day, and it's, wow, 2.58. I started late. Now now that it, we've talked about mouthfeel, let's go over some of the flavors that we're getting here. Mmm. Black currants. Pomegranate, fresh pomegranate. Mmm. If you've ever used wheat germ, you, you put that on like a mucilix or mucilized cereal. It's that kind of sweet wheat presence. Back to some of the... Not, I mentioned pipe tobacco on the nose. Now, on the flavor, I'm almost tasting what the smell of unlit cigars is like. Or almost like walking into a, uh, you know, one of those walk-in humidors at a, uh, at a smoke shop. It's got a, a brightness to it, a, a freshness, a youthfulness to it, despite all of those used bookstore, wood paneling, pipe tobacco notes. There is something bright and, and quite refreshing in this whiskey. Oh my gosh. So yeah, Klein Leash is another distillery that Jason and I really uh, looked for since the very beginning, but... For years and years, we just never found any Klein Leash. I think at one time we may have found an older cask, but it was one that we just couldn't afford at the time. Sometimes these casks can get kind of pricey. Having said that, though, this 23-year-old um, will sit on store shelves for about 265 bucks. So for 23-year-old sherry cask matured, like classic Klein Leash, uh, we felt that that was that was a fair price, especially seeing some other bottlings out there now some of them are a good 50 75 dollars more than that so i feel we get as if we got a good price on that uh, going back to the nose i'm getting guava like guava paste it's back to that that freshness that i talked about remember that the initial thing was pipe tobacco wood paneling leather chairs but now I taste it, I'm getting that vibrancy. Then I go back to the nose, and I'm getting those that fruitiness on the nose, that bright guava note that wasn't there before. Hmm. Date bread, carrot cake. Oh, there's all sorts of things going on with this whiskey. This is an easy drinker. There may be a, a slight hit of like hint of, of struck match way in the distance, but it doesn't really even come on until the finish kicks in. And the finish, well, it really doesn't. It's going on and on. And, you know, I'm getting some of those like dates and prunes and figs, like these classic sherry whiskey notes, but in the distance, that 
hint of struck match, which for me, so long as it's a hint, just becomes a nice part and parcel, a little, um, a, a little piece of the overall picture. If there's too much of that, if it's pure sulfur, if it's pure farts, then it's not a good whiskey. But if it's a little bit, then uh, then I think it adds to the to the overall experience. Kind of similar to our Ben Nevis 20 for anybody who's had that. Again, that classic old style Scotch whiskey, um, but, but with that little hint of struck match in there. Hmm. Oh, that's a charmer. It's almost too easy to drink. Um, again, 580 bottles for the U.S. It's already in California. It's in Illinois. It's going to be coming to Colorado and Wisconsin and Indiana, Minnesota, um, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, a few other states. I Excuse me, I think we are in a little over 20 states with, with these whiskeys. So we're, we're growing, which is good. Um, anyway, I thank everybody for watching the video. Hopefully some of these notes helped you. Uh, my next video is going to be of our Kleinleash 9-year-old. So we'll get to see how that one differs from this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you're a member of Single Cast Nation, thank you for being a member. If you're someone who purchases our retail bottlings, we really appreciate all of your support. If you're new to Single Cast Nation, hopefully this helps. It gives you an idea of, of uh, what this whiskey tasted like and maybe uh, give you some courage to, to buy it, even though you hadn't tasted it yet. You're relying on my notes. Anyway, thank you all so much again, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.